بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون گڈ ٹو سی آل آف یو اینڈ وی اے بیک ود موونگ فارورڈ ان دا کانٹیکسٹ آف دی امپارٹنس آف دا شیئر ہولڈر دا رائٹس آف دا شیئر ہولڈر اینڈ واٹ دا شیئر ہولڈر کین اور کین ناٹ ڈو اینڈ ہاؤ دا شیئر ہولڈر ٹینس ٹو انفلوئنس دی آرگنائزیشن وی وی لوکنگ ایٹ فنڈامنٹلی دا اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ دیئر کانٹیکسٹ بٹ ان دا اسٹیک ہولڈرز دا پرائمری اسٹیک ہولڈر از دا شیئر ہولڈر بیکاز دے آر دا ونس ہو آر ڈوئنگ دی انویسٹمنٹ ناؤ ان دا پاسٹ ٹوئنٹی we have seen that there has been a flux of activities we have seen uh, different forms of activism from extremism uh, towards uh, uh, fundamental labor rights from uh, feminism uh, to uh, transgender rights we have seen how corporatization uh, has totally changed how the influence of government uh, the social sector and the private sector has been rearranged and recalibrated and realigned and there has been this flux of activity and more so since covid-19 the whole dynamics has absolutely been transformed now a very interesting topic uh, a recent topic and an interesting topic is shareholder activism now this seems uh, quite amazing because when we're talking about the shareholder then what type of activism are we talking about but in the modern world where the contextualization of organizations has become global where Uh, different laws and different frameworks are applicable where top management uh, is uh, amalgamated and engulfed in so many different activities uh, the the concern and the rights uh, of the shareholder sometimes become overshadowed and that is why we see ladies and gentlemen that it becomes important that there is also shareholder activism so that they can protect their rights they can protect uh, the organization and they can ensure that the organization does not swing or go towards self annihilation or self destruction or it gets indulged in any corrupt practices or any inappropriate actions so all of this is very very important and many times when the top management is not listening to the shareholder then the shareholder has to indulge in shareholder activism so let's look at uh, shareholder activism Uh, in a more structured way so shareholder activism is a way in which the shareholders can influence a corporation's behavior by exercising their rights as owners they sometimes use their rights as a shareholder of a publicly traded corporation to bring about social change so just like i was mentioning it it's not all about finances it could be also about social change it could be about good governance it could be about better management systems and better processes so all of that is there with the shareholder now Uh, it could be related to issues of the environment investments in politically sensitive parts of the world and worker rights so the 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 shareholder through his or her activism can tend to support any of these causes the term is also referred to investors who believe that the company's management is doing a bad job so that is also very important that if the current management is not working well then the shareholders and the uh, investors have to come into play to ensure that all that wrong doing is curtailed the shareholders in general have the following powers to attend meetings of shareholders and exercise voting rights either personally or through proxy to transfer shares to receive dividend when declared to elect directors um, they also uh, have the right to requisition an extraordinary general meeting of the company to have right shares and bonus shares to apply to a tribunal or tribunals to file class action suits in the high court to file a suit in case of any misleading statements in the prospectus so as you can see over here there are so many things that the shareholder can do and the shareholder is not a mere puppet who is just sitting on the sidelines waiting to get some profits but is actually uh, enabled and also empowered to take many actions against the management or the board uh, to ensure that the company operates in a better way and is taking care of the different rights of all of the stakeholders uh, the board of directors of the company shall be entitled to exercise all such powers and do all such acts as the company is authorized to do to issue securities including debentures to invest the funds of the company to grant loans or give guarantee or provide security in respect of loans to approve the financial statement and the board's report to borrow money so again the board also uh, can be involved in different uh, activism and represent the shareholder in a better way and that is what we see uh, has been emerging as a form 
of shareholder activism. The board of director of a company shall be entitled to exercise all such powers and do all such acts as the company is authorized to do to diversify the business of the company, to appoint and remove key managerial pers personnel. Now, these are two major dimensions and dynamics of the board of directors. They can diversify the business of the company, which we have seen in the case of Angro. I mean, uh, look at how Angro uh, diversified into Angro Foods, and that was a total broad diversification. We also saw it in the context of Pakistan Tobacco Company. They also went into uh, the food business and came out with their own uh, oil. We have seen how uh, technology companies, they tend to di diversify and come into manufacturing. We have seen it with Apple. Uh, we have seen it with Microsoft. Uh, we have seen it with different uh, telecom service providers and uh, manufacturers. We have seen so many uh, examples of diversification which tend to take place. We have seen how textile groups uh, come into energy and vice versa. So, all of these are diversification which comes through the board of director. And then a very important thing is to ensure corporate governance or good governance, they can either appoint or remove key uh, managerial uh, personnel. And in that case, they can tend to guide and uh, in most cases also uh, ensure a particular journey of the organization towards a particular objective. So, uh, what we see is, is that uh, they will also appoint internal auditors, approve quarterly, half yearly and annual financial statements, accept or new public deposits and authorize back by of the security. So, all of these essential things are also done by the board and what we see ladies and gentlemen is, is that the shareholder is not uh, a mere spectator, uh, he or she has immense responsibilities and immense authority also whereby he or she can affect. Uh, the existence and the growth of the company. And similarly, the board of directors to a larger extent even beyond the shareholder have their own responsibilities and through different tools and through different stipulates and through different uh, legal lacunas and legal uh, specifications, they can uh, influence the company to go in a particular direction or they can stop the company from indulging in uh, different negative activities and can change the board, appoint a new board and move forward with all of that. And that is what shareholder activism is all about. Thank you.